that mess back on. You stay over here. Okay, so it's Saturday morning. I got in at two o'clock last night. My daughter's getting married. We looked at a wedding venue in Georgia. Couldn't get a good help hotel room. So we ended up driving back, which is, you know, three something hours. We got home at two o'clock. So it's probably one o'clock now, Saturday, Saturday at noon. I slept all morning. I got somebody coming out wanting to get this trailer. This is a four by six trailer. Uh, they wanted the sides on it. Normally, I just have them pull the truck down there and get it. But um, it's been raining so much, they'd mar up my yard. So I'm pulling it up there to the driveway. Saturday. <laughs> Upcoming project. Okay, so my person came and got the trailer, so that's good. It's all done. It's been raining for three, four, or five days. I mean, it's just sop sopping wet out there, so I'm inside the shop. And I've been putting this project off, I don't know why. But this, and I'll, I'll get a close-up of it, but this is a yard machine that I have. It's a garden tractor. It's got a uh, sleeve hitch on it right now. Now, all these different garden tractors have different sleeve hitches that attach to them. You know, they're all basically the same, but they're different. And they go on different. And this is just, um, I know Lowe's puts their badges on this exact same machine. This is a uh, yard machine. It's a 20.5 horsepower, probably made in, you know, sometime in the 90s. I don't know for sure. But Lowe's makes it. I see a lot of pictures on you know, Facebook and all that of Lowe's, right there it is. And um, so a lot of guys, I mean, if I, had I bought this and didn't have a sleeve itch on it, then I'd be wondering what to look for if I wanted one. Does that make sense? So in other words, I'm gonna show you what the sleeve hitch looks like. If you got this machine, you'll know what to look for. You'll know how to put it on. So the whole thing is, I'm gonna, like I did in a previous video, I'm gonna take this off but in taking it off, you'll know how to put it on. I just want to get a uh, close up of it, of what this thing looks like. So this is the, uh, yeah, the right side. I'm standing behind it, of course. This is the right side. So I think what I'm going to do is remove this wheel, pull that pin, and I'm sure there's a bar inside there that slides out. That's why that wheel has to come off. Now, I've never done it before, so I don't know. But, you know, it makes sense that that's the side that comes off because here's the left side. It's a little different. Here's the hitch, which actually it works real good. So on this other side, so the bar comes through here and hooks up to your um, thing that lowers the deck. So on this machine, if I can keep my camera steady. So you see how all that moves. And of course, this is in a lower position to um, let your attachment down. Of course, you know, you know how sleeve hitches work. This, um, your attachment, of course, goes on that. But it's real simple. I mean, I think it's just taking those pins out, sliding that bar out, and it just, it's gonna come off. I think this is a pretty common machine. So if you got that machine, if you don't have a sleeve hitch and you want one, hey, that's what it looks like. And this is gonna be how you take it off, put it on. Um, but I'm fixing to time lapse, taking the wheel off just because you don't want to sit there and watch me take the wheel off and let's see what else. But I'll slow it down and I'll pull that pin out. I mean, I think it's gonna be that simple. So this will probably be real short, but I'm just basically letting you know that you can um, 
If you have a garden tractor like this, you can get a sleeve hitch. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so the wheel's off. Uh, you know, you got the, uh, so this is, all right, this is where we're at. So we're coming in. Uh, get a pin here. I'm assuming if I pull the pin on both sides of this, something's going to slide out here, I hope. I don't know how, they, I guess that bar right there is going to come out. Then up here, you got this this bar right up here. There it is. It goes all the way over here, so that's easy to track. I'll pay. Take it off on both ends just to make it easy. And, you know, the reason I'm taking it off is I got, I got a grass catcher I want to put on it. And, um, and I can't do it with that back there. So I'm just going to take the whole thing off. Oh, here, there's something about attachments right there. So if you got one of these, that might all that information. I'll take a picture of that, and put it on there. But let me uh, go back to work on this. All right. So let's see. Let's just go ahead and pull this pin out. If I can get on. Come on. You can tell it's been on there for a while. Come on, dude. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off. When this thing falls off, I can hold it maybe. A little cotter pin just holding this. Holding that bar on right here. Right. The washer fell off. So this is free. There that is. Then I'm going to come over here and get this cotter pin. That's off. Now, let's say I'm going to reach my hand under here and there is a bar going all the way through. I probably should have WD-40 that up a little bit. Um, God, I don't know how easy it's going to come out. The, um, let's see. If I grab my hand and start pushing it. There it comes. WD-40 wouldn't hurt anything, but come on, baby. There it comes. It's all going to fall off when it comes. So there's that. So that is your hitch right here. So that's your hitch. That's where the bar went through there and there. So if you have this tractor, make sure you got, hang on, let me find the hole. That's the hole right there. That's where the hole came out of. So if you got that hole in your tractor and it's real similar to this, I think you can do it. Here's the other side right there. Now, let's take a picture of that. So it's pretty easy. Let's just pull this pin out. Get that right there. This pin right back in the view. But it's just a pin. So this comes out here. I'm just going to come out. There it is. All right. So there it is. That is. So I mean, the way I'm looking at this is, what would be helpful for you guys is if you have that tractor. All right, there it is. And you're like maybe buying a sleeve hitch on eBay or something like that. This is everything that what it should look like. So, you know, this is the right side. You know, the left side's, you know. So that's it, you got the bar here that goes through the fender to the uh, deck lever. And there's the other end. I just kind of put it back together here. Pretty much it. Hopefully this is helpful for to, to a guy that's got one of these. Now look, I, so I said earlier, this is a yard machine. Um, 
I know Lowe's has exact same machine. They put their sticker on this same machine and it's blue. I have, there's probably other ones and I can't remember what they are. So making the comment, I don't know if you can send pictures on YouTube or not in the comments, but if you can go ahead and send a picture of um, other machines just like this, because I think it's common. I, don't, I think there's probably a lot of them out there. So anyway, uh, that's it. I just wanted you to see it. Comment. If you got questions about it, let me know. Now look, um, I'm always doing more garden tractor stuff. Now look, I do firewood and other things too, but um, you know, I'm always buying them and messing with them. I bought that because it had a sleeve hitch. I mean, it's a strong machine too. But anyway, subscribe to my channel. Um, I do this stuff. That's, this is my hobby. I don't golf. I don't fish. You know, um, this is what I do for some reason. I guess I'm just odd. But uh, anyway, uh, make a comment and like this and subscribe and do all that kind of stuff. All right. I'm out. So this is my next project. Yes, it's an engine cover. Actually, there was an extra one that came off that. All right. Can I show you? It came off that machine. The guy I bought it from had this extra. But anyway, next project, I think a lot of you will know what it is. But if you guess what this project's going to be, it's going to be neat. But I'm not doing it today. So take a guess at what this project's going right, to be. So whenever I get around to putting the grass catcher on this, I'll show a video of it. That's gonna be one of my next coming up videos. If it's not that project I just told you about, then it might be that. I gotta buy some nuts and bolts to mount it to the back, I think. I'm just trying to figure it out. But just looking at it, that's what I need. So that will be a video, grass catcher system going on this. That's really why I took that off so I could do it. You know, a lot of leaves around here, so I'm trying to pick up leaves, you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting right. here putting the wheel back on. Hey, that lower handle, by the way, it's got that. Got the, I, I didn't really show that clearly. But your handle, you know, it's the deck lever handle. Should have that little, you see what I'm talking about, right there. That should be on there for all this to work. So I thought I'd point that out. All right, I think that's it now.